It was also a time where um, uh, students were very identified with their class. And so uh, Miller, as president of the freshman class, uh, tried to represent them in, in activities on campus. Uh, sophomores uh, were responsible for making sure the freshmen learned the rules and regulations of the college. Uh, and so, uh, in fact, there was, used to be annual class fights. Uh, the, each class had its own colors um, and, uh, and a flag. And oftentimes, uh, like the sophomore class would steal the freshman class colors. They'd haul them up to the top of a tree and then defend them uh, from, from uh, being stolen again or, or, or retaken. Uh, well, this, those, those early activities oftentimes ended up with injuries. And so these class competitions, they were looking for alternatives to, uh, to dealing with these, these class uh, conflicts. Um, and one of the things that, that had become more, more popular uh, was push ball. Uh, push ball involved a, a large, uh, it was a six foot in diameter uh, ball. Uh, and it was played on a football field. And, and the rules varied greatly from college to college. Uh, some colleges just had one large six foot uh, push ball on, on the field at the time. Uh, others, like OSU, had two push balls uh, on the field at the time. Uh, each team would have 50 people on the field at a time. 25 people for each, each push ball. And so you've got 25 versus 25 doing one push ball, and, and then the other push ball had its equivalent, 25 versus 25. And the scoring was very simple. If you push the ball over your goal line, uh, you, you scored points. And the more times you could push your ball over the, the, the goal, uh, the more points you would score. And so you've got two uh, mobs of people pushing on two balls at the same time. Uh, there were four quarters uh, in play. There were no substitutions during the quarter. I think the quarters were usually about eight to ten minutes long. So, so you went, you just pushed that ball until you, until you crossed the goal line. Uh, this was very popular, uh, uh, but also they, they found over time there were injuries with that, with push ball also. Well, uh, Miller, uh, in, in fact, uh, the spring of 1926, so his, his, their freshman year is ending up, uh, Miller kind of throws out the um, uh, the challenge uh, for the annual push ball contest. He tells all, all the young men, and these are almost exclusively men who are engaged in this, uh, to wear their, their toughest jeans uh, and show up at the push ball court or the football field uh, to engage in push ball. Uh, and, uh, and it ended up after, after about a week of, of preparation, it rained out. Uh, the second date they'd scheduled for uh, the, the replay of the game, uh, it rained out also, so they ended up not playing that year. But there were pushball games played uh, on our campus uh, in the mid-20s. By the, by the late 20s, early 30s, pushball had declined uh, in popularity. Um, uh, the rules were never standardized uh, across the nation. It was, it was a brief shining moment for pushball, and then it quickly uh, faded into obscurity. So.